In this specific video, we are talking about do while loop in the QBasic. If you are on while loop, for loop, do while loop with dry run, in the simple way, you can watch the series of videos in this playlist, in this channel, and you can understand that. And if you are on number system conversion and binary number system, you can watch the another playlist which is available in this channel. So let's get started with today's topic. In this specific video, we'll talk about do while loop in QBasic in very easy way. With dry run, with example, with explanation, everything. So let's start. In the previous video, we discussed about while loop in QBasic. If you want to learn that very easily, you can watch previous video. This time, do while loop. So the program name is program to print odd numbers from 1 to 15. That means we have to print only odd numbers, not even. So first odd number is 1, second odd number is 3, 5, 7, 9 in this way. So CLS to clear the output screen, RAM is used to write the comment n equals to 1 because we have to start with 1 so let me keep the value of this n equals to 1 do means starting of do while loop here we are not checking any condition this is started directly and this is body of do while loop body of do while loop means when we enter this do while loop it will be printed okay so first thing print n n means value of n is what 1 1 so it is printed next line n equals to n plus 2 <clears throat> n means already 1 so n plus 2 means 1 plus 2 is 3 good okay loop while n less than equals to 15 this is the end of the do while loop and before it end it will check the condition what is the condition n n means 3 less than equals to 15 condition is true so when condition is true it will go to the do again and execute this line this means print n and means what we have value 3 so I will print here 3 n equals to n plus 2 we have already value here 3 3 plus 2 is 5 next it will check the condition again n means 5 less than equals to 15 condition is true when condition is true it will go here and after that print n again n value is what 5 again n equals to n plus 2 n is already 5 5 plus 2 is 7 then it will go here and check the condition n value is now 7 7 less than equals to 15 condition is true when condition is true it will go to the do and it will print again n n means 7 7 is printed then it will go here again n equals to n plus 2 n value is already 7 7 plus 2 is 9 good it will go here and check the condition n value is 9 9 less than equals to 15 yes 9 is less than 15 condition true when condition true it will go again to and print n and means now n value is 9 so n equals to n plus 2 9 plus 2 is 11 and it will go here again n less than equals to 15 11 is less than equals to 15 true it will go to the do and again print n and means 11 n equals to n plus 2 that means 11 plus 2 is 13 it will check condition 13 less than equals to 15 condition true again it will go here do and print n and value is now what 13 again n equals to n plus 2 we already have 13 13 plus 2 is 15 so 15 while uh, n less than equals to 15 15 is less than or equals to 15 yeah equals to 15 condition is true when condition is true it will go to the do and then again it execute this print n n means 15 so we got all the odd numbers from 1 to 15 but it's still program not finished again it will go here n equals to n plus 2 n plus 2 means 17 then it will check the condition n means 17 less than equals to 15 condition is false because 17 is 
greater than 15 when condition is false it will not gonna go here in the do it will go to the next line that is here we have written end and this is the end of the program so this is what dry run and we got the output in this way we can print odd number from 1 to 15 if we want to print odd number from 1 to 50 then what we'll write we'll write here 50 or 1 to 100 so I'll write here 100 so in the same way it works rem rem is used to write the comment in the program cls is used to clear the data of the output screen n equals to means n equals to 1 means initialization we are starting from here n equals to 1 do do means starting of do while loop here we are not checking condition print n and n equals to n plus 2 these two lines are the body of the loop starting from do and ending with loop while condition inside this whatever we are writing is the body of the while loop this is the end of the while loop and we are checking condition at the end of the while loop and then after that end the end of the program now let's execute this program in the QBasic and let's see whether it is working or not this is QBasic screen and you can see here same program I have written here and I have executed this and this is printing all the even numbers from 1 to 15 let me close this and run this again as you can see in this way we can do next thing if you want to change this value up to 30 if you want to print all the even number odd number from 1 to 30 then we can write this 30 here and it is printed good okay so you can change the value starting from 1 and ending up to what it is deciding in the loop file next if you want to print even number from 1 to 30 what you can do we have to start with 2 because 1 is not even number so we'll start with 2 and we'll end up to 30 so let's run that and this is very easy to do Yeah, here is the output screen as you can see all the even numbers are printed how it is working just dry run the program two times and you can understand it very easily in the same way what I have shown in my video because it is start with 2 it will be printed 2 and then after that n equals to n plus 2 means 4 n value is already 2 2 plus 2 is 4 and it will be printed in the same way 6 8 10 it is printing so if you understand the concept if you like the video click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends so they can understand looping in very easiest way in this youtube channel i have created a playlist for the looping so you can watch the videos and you can understand all the loopings while loop do while loop and for loop thank you for watching have a good day